Hi guys, it's Bridget. Um, I just wanted to share with you a project, uh, my last project for a swap that I'm in, um, which I think has been going on since October maybe. But with the holidays and everything, we got around to uh, saying January. So anyway, um, I had shared a few things over the months with you guys, and this is my final project. Um, it is using the Sizzix candy box drawer die. Um, I had originally seen a project like this that um, Carrie had made, who is Duffer9904, and I knew that I had to um, make it with the romance novel paper, who, um, because the person that's receiving this happens to just love that paper. So anyway, um, I had seen a tutorial on the miniature matchboxes and I pretty much followed her um, tutorial on how to frame everything and, uh, you know, glue everything together so that it, it stayed as straight as possible. So anyway, um, let me just show you. These are the drawers that I, um, well, they're actually full already, but I took the pearls from Tim Holtz. Uh, I don't know what they're called. I don't know if that package is called baubles or what it's called, but anyway, I took them. And the reason I took those were because they were all silver. I had a lot of really pretty beads I wanted to use, but everything was like, you know, framed in gold and I didn't want to start coloring and messing with everything. So. Anyway, I used um, different sizes for the different drawers and the biggest one for the middle. Um, and what I did was I put an eye, I think they're called eye pins, and um, I poked a hole and then wove it through and um, looped it again on the other side so that it wouldn't fall out when she pulled the drawer open. And then these are just some glass beads uh, that I received, I mean, that I bought that came on a string, you know, the, in the loose bead section at Michael's. So um, then what I did was I took the top, I took a mask, the brick mask in the six by six, and I used uh, molding paste and here I used a lot of um, Beverly's uh, trims and um, uh, what are these called? The cabochons or the resin frames. A lot of the things you see here are from um, the piece by piece. So anyway, what I did here was I, I put some black soot on this um, cameo frame, cut apart a piece of lace that I had and put that in the middle. Excuse me, this is, um, sorry, I'm sniffly for some reason. And this is Prima Bling. This is um, lace and trim from Beverly at the piece by piece. And so is this, some of my favorite all time uh, lace that she has. I use Wild Orchid Crafts and I Am Roses. And then, you know, I painted everything black, all my chipboard, um, and then I put the, uh, here I'll show you. Then I just put the paper on the face of the drawer. I don't know why it's blurry. And then I lined it with paper, painted the inside black for all the drawers, and, um, that's what I did as far as that goes, as far as paper goes. The rest of it is chipboard um, and black uh, cardstock by Paper Tray Ink to form the cardstock I put on the top and the bottom and then the actual chipboard is what I use the molding paste for. So that's the side. Um, again, these are from the piece by piece, Beverly in her shop on Etsy. Some more Prima Bling here. Um, the top 
is I, I bought a, a package in the floral section that had all kinds of um, acrylic pieces like this. And I poked a hole in the top here and hot glued that down. This is, um, I believe from Lavish Laces, a rosette trim that I just clipped off, cut it in half, and then layered it here on both sides. Some more of Beverly's trim, more open rosebuds from Wild Orchid Crafts, some of these, um, the leaf ribbon, and then just some layering of flowers, rosebuds, and that's the top. And then the back, I just finished it off like that. And I cut apart the last of the trim I had here in white and put it there as like a little frame so it looks like that. So that's the back. I hope she likes it. Um, it really was a labor of love. <laughs> I worked a little bit on it every day throughout all my other projects. But um, if you guys have any questions that um, you have, just let me know, leave a comment. Um, if you need to know anything that I used or how I put it together, I can find um, the tutorial for you. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.